that? Are you serious? Oh, I don't like it. I don't fucking like it, and I don't want to play this game anymore. What's going on, guys? Strigast here, and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. So, if you are new to the channel, or, well, not even that new, because we haven't played this in probably two years now, uh, this was the first major hit on my channel. Uh, a lot of you guys really love this game, and it's been updated so much since we last played, I figured it would be a good time to come back, check out what's changed, and if you guys are enjoying it, maybe have a little mini-series on this game as well. So we're gonna get back into it. I haven't looked at uh, a lot of the new features in the game. It's supposed to be completely reworked though. A lot of even like the animations and everything are uh, supposed to be brand new. So it's gonna be kind of a new experience uh, if you haven't checked out the game since we last played it. Uh, I'm obviously really excited because I've intentionally not looked into it too much because I wanted to play it again. I planned on playing it again and I think this is a good time. So we can uh, choose to use an existing world or create a random one. Uh, if you don't know, you can actually create worlds in this game now, too, so I figured I'd show that real quick. Basically, you can customize any of the islands you want. And yeah, build your perfect world. Now, we're not going to be building a world. I like the idea of having a random survival game, so we're going to hit random here and start off a new series on Stranded Deep. Now, that being said, if you guys don't enjoy this first episode, uh, we probably won't do any more. I just want to see mostly... Uh, a lot of the new features, but if you guys are enjoying it, feel free to hit that like button, let me know in the comments below, and of course, if there's enough support, we will be doing a series on this. So, the starting hasn't changed, uh, the typical survival scenario, uh, we're crashing, and we have to survive, so it's looking like they actually didn't change anything in here. I like how I'm already ripped up, by the way, uh, haven't even crashed yet, but anytime now we're going right sideways, yeah, we are definitely going down here. There, there we go. And, oh yes, great. The, uh, this is actually probably one of the coolest starts to a survival game ever. So, uh, get to the life raft outside. Obviously, we need to go into the water here. I don't think we can loot anything here. So, we're just going to make our way outside here and try and get to safety. All right. Please, no Bruce or anything out here. I don't know what they've changed, so... Okay. Flinier Airline, not doing too good right now. <laughs> All right, so we got to get on the life raft here. Holy shit, things are, are exploding everywhere. That was pretty epic, man. I, I totally forgot how the starting went, and uh, now I do remember, and that was uh, pretty damn scary. All right, and now we are in the beautiful oasis that is Stranded Deep. Okay, so what, what the hell is that? It looks like it's some sort of ship over there. Uh, so yes, I decided to put the tutorial on because the crafting is supposed to be totally new and whatnot So I guess what we can do for the starting is check out some of the new features and figure out how to work the life rafts as well So now we actually got to sit in the middle. We don't just paddle around anymore And oh, that's weird. You actually use the W, A, S, and D keys to kind of paddle your boat around now I actually kind of like this uh, Obviously, I, we can't glitch out the boat anymore and make it go really really fast, which is no fun but, uh, I think it needed to be updated, and it feels like it's a really good mechanic there. So, I'm, am, I, am, I, am I still? Okay, I'm not paddling anymore. And here is our first island. Gotta say, the islands look a hell of a lot better. The water looks better. Everything about this game looks better. And I love how... Ooh, man, we're per look, looking pretty lanky here, but we are clearly a businessman. Uh, well, obviously we were. We were the only person on that plane, and, uh, yeah, it crashed down. I actually, I guess there'd be a pilot, too, so... Uh, I don't know where the hell that guy is, but that doesn't even matter. So I found myself a tarp. Uh, obviously, with survival games right at the start, we need to scavenge a little bit. So I'm going to get some wood and whatnot. Let's actually drop this tarp for right now, because uh, I don't know if we need it. I know we're going to need wood, though. That's a nice rock. Oh, hey there, little crab. Oh, my God. You guys actually move around a lot faster now, too. Can I pick you up? I can't pick you up. Can I drop this stone on you? No. No dropping stones on the crabs. We got mineable resources now? Oh, I'm, I'm really glad I came back to this game. I forgot how beautiful this damn game is, and I'm stuck in the trees. Hold on here. I'm, I'm just trying to look for stuff, so we need... Uh, well, I guess we could open the crafting menu. I know we gotta make a tool or something, though. Uh, so, yes, here is the crafting menu now. Uh, once again, it's been updated. The... I actually really like the old crafting system in this game where you had to have everything on the ground. Now you don't have to do that anymore. It's just like most survival games where there's ingredients that you need to create things. So we got structures too. 
Uh, just quickly looking through this. Hobo stove, that's new. Smoker's new. Solar still's new. Loom's new. I mean, tanning rack's new. Holy shit. We even got furnaces now and the brick station, which is new as well. So, as you can see, uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good time to be coming back to this game. There is so much more into this game now. I didn't even check out the tools to see the differences. Uh, so it looks like most of our pickaxes are now stone now do we can we still find the metal ones i have no idea Ooh, spear guns in the game we got arrows spear gun arrow bandages of course clay water bottle okay so you don't find the random water bottles probably anymore and of course bricks all right so i don't want to waste too much time since this is a survival game i uh, just wanted to quickly look over the crafting menu and that is awesome so what it wants us to do is build a stone tool that's probably at the top yes there it is so that's done uh, craft a refined knife. Okay, the stone is in the backpack, and here is our backpack now, which is totally different. Uh, it's got one of these wheel things, which is really useful, so uh, we, we got a little shank. Now we need to craft a refined knife, I'm assuming with this shank? So yes, we need, uh, looks like lashings for the refined knife, and then it's basically probably an upgrade for this thing. So, do we got any yucca in here? We got the, some sort of fruit. That's, that sounds delicious. All right, just gotta find the yuccas. Oh, there's one. I, I would never forget what the yuccas look like. And if I can get to it, you know what? I'll just chop down this tree. It's in the way right now, and I'm probably gonna need the resources anyways. Uh, give me an hour, because all I got is a freaking stone right now. All right, and there we go. We got some uh, sticks if we do need them. I'm assuming we will. Now we get the yucca plant. And I believe we don't just get rope anymore. If you remember in the, in the original Stranded Deep, you just get rope off of these. I think, if I remember correctly, yes, you get fibrous leaves, and we have to actually make rope with those things. So crafting is a little bit more in-depth now. Uh, I think that's a good thing, and now we can make lashings off of that, and now we can make the refined knife with my little stone thing, and bam! Look at that bad boy! Alright, so, so far so good. Uh, I'm definitely not going to stick to this island, by the way. It is way too small. I'm just going to kind of go through this tutorial right now. Ooh, young palm tree. What does that drop? Oh, more leaves to make more lashings. So we got young palm trees now. Can I still climb the trees? Please tell me. Oh, ooh, 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 hold jump to climb. Oh, the climbing is so much better now. Before this was a death wish, I don't think you can fall off now. So do we got any palm trees up here? Do we have any palm trees up here? I mean coconuts. Obviously, there's a palm tree up here. We're climbing it. Okay, campfire time. Now, that is that considered a tool? I mean, it, it's kind of a tool. I, I can use it to cook, but I gotta assume it's in structures then. Uh, yes, fire spit, fire pit. We just need a simple campfire for right now, so there we go. And we place it just like before. All right, we'll place it right here. That's cool. Ooh, hey. Can I, uh... I, can, I guarantee you can kill those things. That's awesome. And now we need to craft kindling, so we don't get a random lighter anymore when we uh, crash land. This is a lot more survival-like now, so where the hell is the kindling? It's probably in tools. Yes, we need some more sticks, so let's go find those things. So yeah, if you are new to the channel or newer and you don't know what this game is, well, this was the first game that really broke me out on YouTube. Uh, when I started it, I had about... I want to say eight to 10,000 subscribers, and by the end of the series, we had about 100,000. So it really, I have a lot to thank for this game. It really did bring you guys into me, or at least the starting few of you, and, uh, you know, it has a soft place in my heart. Not only that, it's an amazing game. It's an amazing survival game. So I'm really excited to be getting back here and uh, seeing what the differences are. Uh, and I'm really liking them so far. Even if there's not too much in the game that's been new, the fact that the, you have to make kindling now and all this stuff is amazing. Use the kindling on the campfire to light it. Okay, so we got some kindling here. Uh, okay, press E to light. Oh, okay, so now we need to... Oh, yeah, start the fire. That's so much better than just getting a generic lighter. We actually do gotta make fire now, the legit way. Okay, this is actually realistic, too. I've been doing this for about a minute. I'm actually impressed. There we go. Uh, to start the fire. So you really want to keep those fires going. Hold F to show your survival watch. Oh, yes, the watch. Uh, press mouse to cycle through the watch mode. So we got uh, our vitals here, which are pretty good right now. Now we need to kill a crab. Okay, <laughs> tutorial. That, that, that got dark real quick, but I guess we got to cook something. So let's go find that crab again and uh, pay him a little visit. 
Oh, I think I see one. Oh, that, that actually it could be a starfish. Now that I've seen a starfish, it actually looks like one. And yes, it is. Okay, is there still the crab buttholes? If you guys remember, they used to have li little land buttholes around them. Uh, I know you're probably thinking, what the fuck are you talking about, Trey? Because <laughs> most of you guys haven't watched. But they used to have, like, a little den that looked just like a butthole, and I think they got rid of it. So, no more crab buttholes, I guess. Uh, let's kill this crab guy, though. There we go. Hold E to skin it. I gotta skin the crab now. Oh! Oh, God! Am I skinning myself? Okay, I was not prepared. That 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 is not crab meat. <laughs> That looked like a fucking steak. Okay, drop and drag mouse meat onto the campfire to start cooking it. So we gotta go the old school way for doing this, uh, which was dropping everything and then moving it. Uh, oh, 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 okay, there we go. Moving it onto the fire. Oh, that's so cool. And we'll just chill it at the top. There we go. Use a knife on a coconut to open it. Okay, uh, we got one of those. We got a knife. So we need to, once again... Drop this on the ground. So I'm getting the hang of the whole stranded deep mechanics. They didn't totally get rid of all of them, which is nice. Uh, all right, let's put one up here. Hopefully it doesn't... Fuck it, it's going to roll away. All right, but we got to crack that bad boy open. There we go. Uh, oh, it's actually already a dr drinkable coconut. So we'll pick that up. There we go. Drink that. Delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Craft a shelter to save your progress. All right, so I guess we'll do a makeshift little shelter here since the game wants me to do it. Uh, and I... I kind of want to try and make some of the furniture anyways. Now, where did that... I don't know where the palm tree went. Or <laughs> the coconut. I keep calling coconuts palm trees for some reason. Oh. 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 He actually landed. That was adorable. Okay. Can you do that again so I can whack you with something? All right. I guess we're just going to drop the coconuts here. We're, we're actually probably doing just fine in terms of vitals. Yes, we're actually full. That's one good thing about Stranded Deep 2 is... It's not like other survival games where you're constantly looking for food. You can actually kind of relax. And uh, it's a little bit more realistic when it comes to basically not constantly needing food. All right, but we need to craft the shelter. Let's shut up and actually do that. So, oh, oh yeah, we got this thing too. So we'll drop that there. Uh, what do we need for the shelter? Oh, okay. It's actually just a little tent. That's right. But you can make those and then you can make actual... Um, is there still foundations and everything here? I hope there is. There's got to be... A way to make foundations, or did they totally get rid of it? I gotta assume they didn't. It's just somewhere in the structure somewhere. Alright, but we need rope, we need palm leaves, and we need wood. So we need a little bit of everything, so let's go out while that thing's cooking and uh, start gathering some more of these trees. Alright, and it's been a while since we've knocked over a palm tree. There it goes, timber! Oh, I love how big the trees are in this game. And I love how you actually have to chop off the trunks as well, so... Uh, what we need is palm fronds right now. Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't even ride the, uh, trunks anymore. Uh, you know what? Honestly, as annoying that it is that it is, because we used to utilize this a lot, uh, to get to places where we weren't supposed to be able to get to, uh, I think it's smart that they got rid of that, because there was a, a lot of ways to kind of abuse this game. Uh, not, not anymore, it seems like. All right, but we'll get the palm bunch here. Uh, press E to pick up. Can I just chop it, possibly? It's actually getting dark already. Uh, I just know, I don't know how to get palm fronds now. There we go. So yes, they're still here. Uh, I guess you can pick up the whole thing though if you want to. So we got lots of logs over here. We don't need logs. We just need sticks. But I did need the palm frond to, uh, build the shelter. So all we need now is the cord. So, uh, or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. The lashing it's called in this game. So we got the lashing. There we go. Now we can go to structures and everything needed for our little first home. All right, so we got uh, a shelter. Let's put the shelter... Well, we want it right by the fire somewhere. We, we also... I like to put the shelters at the edge of islands. That way, if we get lost, it's uh, a telltale sign that it is our land. Okay, the shelter is the only place you can save your progress. So we're going to interact with that. Uh, and we'll save it. And you can also sleep there. You do need sleep in this game. So if we open up our thing here, we'll see. I am not tired at all yet. I'm doing just fine. So I wonder if it's actually slower during the tutorial or something. Uh, next up, we need a hammer, though. So uh, it's going to be a lot of gathering and making items in this episode just because we have to catch back up. So we need a crude axe. We need lashings again and uh, stone tools. So to make the stone tools, we need stone. So let's go around and look for some more stone. All right, it got dark really quick, and I can't see where any of the stones are now. You can use the moonlight to your advantage on one side of the world, but, uh, or rather the island. On the other side, you can't see shit. So I think I'm just gonna sleep. 
uh, wait out the night here and get back to it in the morning. All right, and good morning, everybody. I got another drinkable coconut since we were getting... Oh, we're still low in hydration, so... Uh, might want to make that clay pot soon because they seem to have gotten rid of the vast majority of the coconuts. Okay, we got another one there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to get some coconuts real quick to, uh, hydrate myself. Look at that freaking sunrise. How beautiful is this game? My god! Okay, so we're going to quickly hydrate myself a little bit because I'd hate to starve to death in the first episode. Um, definitely a probability, mind you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very good at survival games. <laughs> Alright, but at least we got a couple coconuts now to drink, and that should hopefully keep me a little bit more hydrated. Yes! That's what I like to see. Uh, we also got... Where'd my, uh, meat go? Did I pick that up? I forget. Yes, I did. I couldn't eat that if I want to. I think I'm gonna save it for right now, though. We're gonna go back to my hands. Alright, and it wants us to create a hammer, so I probably should've figured out... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was needing... Oh, I just need rope! I was thinking I needed an axe. It wants me to make a hammer, so I guess we're actually gonna be building a hut now. So all I need right now is lashings. Uh, and lashings I actually might have enough for. So yes, there we go. And we can simply make our little hammer now. So yeah, I kind of waited the whole night for no point at all. The crude hammer. A hammer is required to build, and you can use the hammer on structures like floors and foundations to complete them. So that's right, we needed the hammer to get into the actual building, so... I'm assuming it wants me to... Oh, tutorial complete. Explore the ocean for other islands to survive. So we did it, guys! We did the tutorial, that is! Now it's time for us to just have some fun. So I kind of want to see... How does this... Uh, oh, okay, so we, we can go to the walls now. Ooh! Guys, look at all the shit now. We got uh, different types of walls. Obviously the same with floors. You can actually get triangle of floors or wedge floors now. Uh, we even got some more stuff over here. I don't know how to... I don't know how to get further over, but we can get windows as well, and then foundations in here. So, I don't actually want to set up base yet. I kind of want to do a bit of exploring. I want to, you know, get some shipwrecks and whatnot. Uh, and we're going to have to leave this place to get some food, because we are going to slowly get hungry. So let's pick up all these coconuts so we can eat them along the way. Uh, I guess we'll take my kindling as well, because that's going to come in use. Uh, and we will drop anything that we don't need. So... Yeah, don't really need those. We can get some more of those anywhere we go. All we really need is our tools, our food, and our body. So, goodbye, my first little camp. Let's actually save real quick again, just in case we die or something. Uh, so we'll save. And off to New World. So where do we go? The decisions are, well, quite literally endless. That's how this game works. Uh, you can just keep going in one direction, and new procedurally generated islands will pop up. So I'm gonna go... Well, first of all, you know what? Let's go check out this shipwreck over here. Oh my god, this is what I'm scared about, though. You, you guys know, well, uh, at least if you've watched this before, I have a serious fear of deep water. And this game brings out the best in me because these sharks are horrifying. So, uh, I'm gonna go try and get something off of this, but if I see any sort of shark, we're getting the fuck out of here. So, uh, alright. And, of course, cue the fucking shark! Right beside me! Are you serious? You can't even give me a second, Bruce! It's good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, we're not going to that shipwreck, guys. I'm sorry. I know you guys are gonna be mad at me, but I ain't fucking with Bruce this early on. Is, 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 he, is he following me? I think I hear him. This, this is just great. Alright, we're gonna go over to this island and just check it out. Maybe we can find a shipwreck there, uh, get some food, and continue on our journey. All right, and look at that, another island, and of course we hear the Bruce music again. So, uh, yeah, these waters are riddled with tiger sharks, it's great. Is that a boat? I think I see a boat possibly on the island. I hope so, because if we can get a shipwreck that's out of water, that's the ultimate shipwreck for me. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, that is definitely a shipwreck, and we got some more uh, wildlife here. I really like the wildlife they decided to add, just some seagulls and whatnot, you know, some realistic things. There's a lot of animal life in the water, by the way, which we will get into later on in the game, but right now we just gotta kinda scavenge, so please tell me there's something good here, because this is a really good shipwreck. It's actually kind of morphed into the rock here, but uh, I, that's probably just a way to get up here. Alright, so, we can open the door. Uh, if I remember correctly with this one, it doesn't have too many things to open. Ooh, we actually gotta open this now? Oh, wait, what? Okay, so we got antibiotics, and we got a backpack? Does that mean I get more storage spots? I don't even... What? 
Did it give me more? I don't think it gave me more storage spots, so... I don't know what that is, but we got a backpack now. And another backpack. Switch to backpack storage. Wait. Oh, that's to switch. I'm an idiot. Okay, so that's to switch to my backpack. So I've always had a backpack on. So I thought I, th I thought I found like more storage or something, but no, that's just always there now, which is kind of cool actually. It makes uh, looting really quick and easy. All right, but we did get some meds though, something that uh, wasn't very common in Stranded Deep before. Uh, so that's obviously exciting. Now, is there anything? I don't remember if there's anything underneath. I don't think there is. It doesn't look like there's any easy way to get in too. Uh, all right, we'll just go into the deep water. Don't mind me, Bruce. Where the fuck is he? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You you relax, fish. You scared the shit out of me. Okay, yeah. I don't think we can get into the bottom of this boat. Uh, not that I think there's anything in there anyways. So let's just quickly check out this island, get some coconuts and whatnot, and possibly leave. This is beautiful, though. Like, these actually feel like islands now. They used to be way too small. Now they're at least a decent size. Did I just hear a snake? I think they did add snakes into the game, so there might be a snake down there somewhere. I'm gonna go look for it later. Maybe we can eat its meat. Uh, i definitely hearing some sort of rattle, though. Alright, I can't turn my head, unfortunately. I guess that, that's accurate, though. If you're climbing up a tree, you're not gonna be able to turn your head this way. I just wanna loot it, damn it! Alright, how the fuck am I gonna get loot this? Oh my god. Yeah, I can't go any further, so I'm gonna have to jump off this and figure out another way. Or just get a different one. Okay, there's definitely a snake down here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is right there! Oh, shit, I was right beside it! Look at this little shit bag. Uh, is he gonna attack me if I... Oh, yeah, he's getting scared. Oh, look at that! He even moves. Oh, yeah, that guy... I kinda wanna fight him! Night Snake. Oh, 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 it's running away now. <laughs> okay, I tried to smack him. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! No, I didn't expect that! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, shit! That's not good! Ah. Uh... Okay, I'm definitely hurt now, aren't I? I, I? I might be poisoned. I'm probably dying now. That was absolutely stupid. This is why, if I was ever stranded on an island, I would die. Because I would do something stupid like that. Goddamn, rattlesnake scared the shit out of me. I expected Bruce to do that. So, oh, speak, speak of the devil, Bruce is somewhere out there. Uh, I found one coconut so far, guys. I am not doing very good here, so at least that one we can drink. I uh, didn't really see much on this island. I'm not liking it for, you know, a base. So we're gonna keep going here and see what else we can find. Thankfully, I don't think that snake was poisonous. I thought it was a rattlesnake, but it was called something like a night snake. I don't know if that's the real name or a, a, a real name for a snake, but, uh... Yeah, really glad I didn't get poisoned and started to slowly die already. Uh, we're just gonna head out this way. I was looking around this side of the island for any shipwrecks that poke their head out, but... I'm not really seeing anything, so I think we're just gonna head... In this direction. Oh, wait. Actually, speak of the devil, I think. Yes, we got a shipwreck right here. All right. I'm, I'm not hearing the creepy music, which is a good indicator that Bruce is not here right now. But we're going to be down there for a little bit, so I got to figure out... Oh. Oh, hey, Pancake. What's up, dude? How you doing? It's been a while. All right. Pancakes. Okay, great. Fucking Bruce is here. Really? I just wanted to do one shipwreck in this episode. And you, you got to fuck with me, don't you? All right. It's going away. No, it's fucking coming back. It's so hungry. It wants to eat me. Uh, I love how you, how far you can see now. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no, no. I'm not falling in that water. Okay. I'm, I'm done screwing around. We're getting the hell out. Yeah, Bruce, can you just... Yeah, you can just go away, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fall out now. Yeah, you're just... You're just going to circle me like a creepy bastard that you are. Oh, and great. It's going to start storming now. Hopefully, it doesn't get too foggy to the point where I can't see anything. Uh, storms in this game can be pretty bad. And, oh, please don't lose the island. I just gotta keep going in this direction. It's looking like this is just a small rainfall, though, so no big deal. Oh! 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 What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Are you serious? Oh! I don't like it. I don't fucking like it, and I don't want to play this game anymore. Did not know they could do that. That's a whole new mechanic. They can knock over my fucking raft? Okay, we're, we're building the, the biggest, baddest raft on this island that we've ever seen. Because there's no fucking way I'm going around with this life raft anymore. I think I just pooped myself. I quite literally might have pooped myself a little bit there. Alright, well, I expected Bruce to be a dick. I didn't expect him to have new fucking mechanics to be a dick. That, that, oh my god, that... The thing is, like, this is a serious fear of mine. I, I, I can't even go into water that has, like, seaweed in it or any sort of plant life. Uh, cause I freak out that there's gonna be something in the plant life, so... Going into a game, I understand it's just a game. 
But still, especially with how realistic a lot of the aspects of this game are, it, it, it's just my, my brain doesn't acknowledge that it could be fake. Now, what the fuck is this? Uh, is this a huge shipwreck or something? Because I'm seeing... I don't know what... I, I'm going to go check it out. I think this actually might just be part of... No, there's some sort of gate going around it. What is this? Yeah, I think it's just a shipwreck. And of course, Bruce is here once again. Bruce is here in full force in this episode. Ah, uh, but yeah, we got some sort of weird shipwreck here. Can I get... Okay, I can't really get on it uh, without Bruce fucking around with me. So I think we'll wait till the water's a little bit more clear. Because if you haven't noticed, the water's really dark now that it's uh, overcast. Uh, and I'd rather be able to see what's in there. But these shipwrecks are freaking awesome looking. Maybe there's some loot on top? I don't think... Yeah, it doesn't look like there is. So there's something in there, though, I'm sure. Uh, oh, seagulls. Seagulls, come here. I just want to slice and dice you. All right, we got another shipwreck here. Who the fuck is crashing all these ships? Like, it's not like the water's that bad here. I, I, I don't know how you could be a pirate or whatever the fuck these guys are and crash so much. Okay, so we got... Oh, we actually get to open the crates now? They aren't just automatically opened? All right, this is like a stranded deep unboxing. This is going to be fun. So let's just... Uh, do, I, do I have to, like, break it? Let's, uh, oh, press tab to open. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, plank scrap and cloth. All right, well, I don't really need that, but we'll keep that there. I like that you can collect these, though, and use them as possibly storage. That'd be really cool. All right, I'm kind of liking this island, though, so I might make a little makeshift, uh, shelter here. We do have to save the game anyway, so I gotta at least make the basic shelter. Uh, don't really, I'm gonna look around it and see if I want to keep it as my main base. This, I really like the rock formations now. Can we climb this? Oh, yeah, look, look at this. I'm totally not going to break my leg. Watch. I'm going to break my leg any time now. Oh, hey, birds. What's going on? I'm just chilling up where, where, where you guys live. Ah, uh, wow. This is actually really cool. Okay, I wonder if I can, like, dive bomb one of these guys and kill him. Yeah, that would not be a smart idea. That's a bigger drop than I thought. So let's just uh, get down here. There we go. All the way down to the ground. Didn't kill myself, so uh, crisis averted. Come here, crab. I have to eat you because you're delicious. All right, been going around collecting some food because we are getting a little bit hungry. Obviously not doing too bad, though. Uh, figured we cook... Whoops, didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> I'm really good at dropping things in this game. But yeah, I figured we'd cook throughout the night, so hopefully... Uh, can I drop them on like I used to be able to? Not really. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Oh, oh. Fuck! You guys stop! You're scaring me! God, they got to have the creepiest fucking squeak. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping to be able to drop all these on top, but... Can we do more than one at a time? That's the question. We used to be able to stack them. Oh, yeah. You can totally do more than one at a time. You just got to play a little game of meat Jenga. There we go. Look at this. All right. So I think I'm going to make a little makeshift foundation here. So I figured we'd get to the axe uh, in this game so we can actually utilize that. I guess I can drop that now. I know what I need to build my foundation. Uh, all right. So we're going to craft real quick. The crude axe, there we go, and we can drop this knife off now. So the knife's made for mostly skinning now in the game. Before, the knife was basically pointless, so... Good to see that that's used for something now, too. Uh, I'm just gonna start storing some shit here. And let's go chop some wood with this bad boy. Oh, look at it. It's so... Almost primal. So I, I love the look that the new models for the axes and whatnot are amazing. I thought I... Okay, I swear I chopped the tree here. Did it fucking vanish? There, there, there's the damn palm tree that, or the coconut that came out of it. I don't know why I keep calling them damn palm trees. Oh, okay, so there's a trunk. Oh, that's it right here. I just can't see it. Good morning on day... I think we're on three, right? Two days survive, so technically we're on day three now in, in Stranded Deep. Now, I have been looking around the island. Mind you, it just got light out, so I'm trying to find some yucca so we can... Oh, we got some young palm trees here. So we can get some fibrious leaves, because uh, I'm assuming we're going to need lashings to actually build the foundation. I actually forget. Oh, come on. I just want to... I just want to get you. Ah! Okay, it's, it's not going to work until I get uh, a ranged weapon of some sort. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we got small pine trees here. Oh. oh, hey, Bruce. Good morning, buddy. Yeah, unfortunately, I pretty much mined out the whole island. Again, I had the whole night to myself, so I kind of just zoned out and... Uh, Got a lot of resources over here, as you can probably see. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully this is enough to start building a little foundation and uh, just a little save point here. I actually got to find my hammer. That was probably stupid of me to drop it right on top of this. Uh, it's somewhere in there. Anyways, let's just drop more on it to make it even more confusing, why don't we? Mind you, I don't have much right now. I just got some uh, fibrious leaves here. 
Oh, there's actually more here. And there's my hammer. Okay, we're just going to pick that up. We're going to drop that. So I just want to see what we need to build just a basic foundation. So the driftwood foundation, or we can do wood foundation. I'm going to go for the wood foundation here. And it looks like it just collects anything that's close to me. Uh, and then I can make the foundation. So, yeah, we'll do that at least for right now. I don't want a very big thing, though. I just want basically a bed and a little hut. So I think we'll just do... Something like that. That looks pretty good. Oh. Uh. That's new. Okay, so usually there is a foundation on there. What do I have to do now? I have to make the flooring. Okay. Oh, we can even make brick foundations. This is... This is really cool. Just a wood floor, I guess. Do we have enough driftwood to actually do a driftwood floor? I don't think we do, or it would allow me to. So let's try the wood floor, possibly. Uh, am I, am I too far away? Do I have to... Maybe have it in my inventory now? I don't know, honestly. So let's try and grab some of this stuff. Worst case, we just gotta bring it over there. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing anyways. And look at all the fucking shit I got. I didn't realize how much I did throughout the night. All right, but now let's try and make the wood floor. And yeah, still it's not letting me. So I'm thinking the loot was just too far away. So we're just going to uh, quite literally vomit out some sticks here everywhere. There we go, that's delicious. Uh, some palm fronds too, because we might need those for the roofing. And did I drop my hammer? Yes, I did. I'm going to get really bad at dropping some things in this game. So hopefully now... Man, what the hell? What am I doing wrong here? I'm wondering if that foundation broke. So let's just throw another one. Okay, so no, that's definitely the way the foundation's supposed to be. Uh, the flooring, though, for whatever reason... Maybe I need to put some stairs first? Uh, yeah, don't, don't, I don't... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't... It. I don't want it up there. What is this a fucking roof? Am I? No, I'm on floors. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Is the floor just invisible? No, there's nothing. I'm so confused. Did they did, did they ruin the damn building in this game, or is it just? Let's try over here. Does this? Oh, this does that too. What? What if we just? Let's just. Okay. Uh, officially, I think I fucked everything up. Wait, what? Wait, I gotta build it? Oh, you didn't tell me this game! I'm, I'm thinking I have to destroy it, but no, this is actually how you build your freaking foundation. That is so cool! Alright, that one's actually a little too high, so that was, that, that was just testing right over there. It, it looks great, right? I actually like this over here even more, so... Now I know! We actually gotta hammer it once it's done. Did it say that in the tutorial? It probably did, knowing my uh, situational awareness. It's not very good, so I'm assuming that means it's done. Looks like a nice floor. I can actually walk on it now, as you can see, so that's good. And I realize you can actually drag this and go over, so you can see some of the other stuff that we can do. Like, the roofs look like actual roofs now, so that's cool. Uh, it's not just floors on top of floors. Uh, we got doors, we got arches, we got everything now, guys, so... Now I know what I did wrong, at least uh, we have figured that out. Now we just gotta make a little makeshift place. Now I wonder, if I use my axe, will I be able to destroy this? Because we used to be able to destroy these, so... Yeah, I gotta assume this will get rid of it. Actually, let's get rid of that before we get rid of this, because we need to get up here. Whoa! Whoa, what the hell? Okay, well, clearly... I thought- I think those were supposed to be logs, but that must have been placeholder textures, so... Yeah, two-year-old game still got placeholder textures, that's great. Mind you, this game is constantly updated, so it's not like it's an actual two-year-old game. Uh, but yeah, this is how you get rid of shit that you accidentally made, so... Give it a second here. There it goes, and there's the random texture, so I guess we don't get our resources back, which is kind of a bummer, but no big deal. All right, you know what? I haven't heard Bruce in a while, so I'm gonna take a break from the foundation making here, and uh, we're just, we're just gonna explode out my inventory here. How, where, where the fuck I'm storing all this? You don't want to know, guys. Trust me, you do not want to know. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of the crude hammer as well. Uh, but yeah, now that Bruce is gone for the time being and it's clear out, I think we should finally, you know, go search this uh, wreck here. So. Uh, this is one of the bigger ones, if I remember correctly, so this is good. And anybody in here? Oh, I can't get in. I can't, help me! I can't! Okay, we're gonna take that with us. Tab to open. Okay, we got a gas can. Oh, you actually float around now? That's not confusing at all. Oh, we got flashing! Holy shit, that's actually what I needed! Uh, I was... I was... I, Oh, 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 don't, 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 <laughs> don't suffocate. Uh, but I needed one lashing, I believe, to do a bed. So I think that actually worked out really well in my favor. Let's open this thing up. Uh, I gotta drop it first and tab to open. 
Oh, we got the propeller, and we also got a flare gun, which actually scares away predators. I didn't know that. All right, well, we already looted the thing, but uh, at least I got something to scare away Big Bad Bruce if he does decide to come and attack us. Now, does this work underwater? I have no idea. We're going to take a quick look through here once again, just to make sure we got everything. Bruce, don't be in here, buddy. Yeah, oh, oh, something was there. Okay, no, I'm scared. I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, there might be something above. I don't actually remember, but I don't think there is. Regardless, we can quickly check since this is above ground, or above water, rather. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really look like there's anything here, and this just goes back to the door. So, yeah, that's the first underwater shipwreck. Hardly underwater, that is, that we checked out, and actually we got some loot that we desperately needed. Uh, we even got a little motor part if we do want to build a motor later on. And there's Bruce coming back. I don't know where he is, but I do hear his uh, creepy-ass song. So let's go see if we have enough now. So I have a lot of Fibrious Leaves around, but I don't think I had enough. Now I might actually have enough to build my bed. And the bed we need to save, now we can either build that or the little hut. So I was thinking maybe we need to build the hut, but now that we got all these Fibrious Leaves and we got that one lashing, I think we have enough to actually build it. All right, I believe that's all of them, and we have a grand total of 11. Now, I think, I honestly think we're missing one, because we need four for the bed. Uh, lashings, I believe, yeah, they take four, so, fuck, that's not enough. Uh, yeah, we are going to need one. There's got to be one somewhere on this island that I missed. Is that? Yes! We found one! A young palm tree saves the day. So, uh, yeah, there wasn't actually much yucca on this place. I think there was only two of them. Uh, so thankfully we had a lot of small palm trees, though, and that gave us enough to actually do this. So, let's open her up once again, go to the tools, make that final lashing, and now we should have everything that we need to build a bed. Look at that. All right, so the bed, obviously, we're going to put it on here. Hopefully, we have enough room. Ooh, man. Okay, can this... What happens if I put it up here? Does it just fall? I think it probably does. Uh, I'm assuming the orange means it's good to be placed, so let's just try it. Yeah, just like that. Look at my little bed. That looks so damn comfortable. Uh, we are getting tired, too, so we, got, we have to sleep soon. But now that we got that done, let's actually build the rest of our foundation or little, little hut here. So we're going to go, first of all, uh, I guess we need some steps. So if we, oh shit, we don't have any lashing. So I don't think we'll be able to make everything today, but we should at least be able to make some walls. Yes. All right. And we're going to want this to be the back end. So we will put that there. We still have to build the wall. Got to remember that. Uh, I guess we could do like a windowed wall too, assuming, oh, they're actually cheaper. All right. I, I, I love windows. So we're going to put a window there. And then we will put a windowed, I guess we'll do a driftwood, why the hell not? A driftwood window over here. Now in the front, we need doors. Uh, driftwood door, do I have enough? Oh shit, I need one lashing for the door. So we're not going to be able to make the door today because there's no more lashings in this world. Uh, we're going to have to go to a different island to find that. But I don't think we'll be staying here very long. Again, I'm just basically making this to save. And to check out the differences, it's looking like this is fantastic. All right, I don't even know if this one's already built. I think it is, because these ones are much different than the driftwood. So I'm just curious how you build the metal ones now. I mean, it's just... That is so cool. We didn't even need to use palm fronds, though, and it's mostly palm fronds, which is interesting. All right, we'll do the final wall. There we go. Now, do we have enough? Wait, that's not done yet, is it? Okay, that's done now, uh, for sure. So we got that done. Look at my little straw hut. That's amazing. Now, do we have enough to do a roof by any chance? I don't think we will be able to. Roof corner, roof wedge corner. No, I just need a, a roof, man. I don't think there's roofs even small enough. Uh, I don't have enough wood sticks. I used them all? No, there's more wood sticks over here. I just got to pick them up. All right, so all we can do, clay roof middle. Uh, these wedge corners, I'm curious about. Like, ooh, clay roof caps. Oh, man, we can make a clay house. That's awesome. All right, we'll try this wood roof middle, though. See, that's the problem. It's it's going to look like that. So we got to make a bigger house to have a roof. That's kind of a bummer, but we can at least put that there, and it's going to protect us from the water. So just uh, build this. There we go, and we got some protection. Look at that. That is so cool looking. 
Uh, yeah, kind of weird that, you know, it's got an opening here. It doesn't have any support beams or anything. But I'm assuming they expect you to build a bigger house if you are building the houses. I just wanted a cute little one, and look at this. It's like we're in a tropical island or something, you know, just living life. Except we're just trying to survive. So how's our vitals? Uh, we are a little thirsty and whatnot. We do... We actually, we don't have any drinkable coconuts, but there is some more over there. But I think this is a good spot to end off the first episode. We did basically... Uh, the bare minimum of everything. We explored, we saw Bruce, of course, we built, we almost died to a snake, which was great, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty damn interesting. So, next up, we'll probably be doing some more exploring. I'm not gonna settle down here, if you guys are enjoying this, of course. So, please let me know in the comments below, let me know by liking this video, if you guys do like it. Because if it doesn't get enough support, I'm just going to assume you guys don't want to see any more Stranded Deep, and we'll move on. Regardless, I want to thank you guys for all your support throughout the years. I hope you guys like this series once again. And as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one.